Mad Money Lightning Round is brought to you by TD Ameritrade, where smart investors get smarter. It is time! It's time for the lightning round! Of course, one of the seats. And then the lightning round is over. Are you ready, Ski? Dad, time for the light round. Let's start with Brandon in New Jersey. Brandon! Booyah, Jimmy Chill. Booyah, Brandon! Hey, Jim, Marriott sold for a high of $156 in January, and it sold for a low of 46 in early April. It's up this month and is now at $108. So do you think it's too late to buy? Or no, I think you can go a little lower. Uh, it had a very big explosive move off the bottom. I think it's going to te- uh, not test the bottom, but go down a little bit more than it is. Let's go to Calvin in South Carolina. Calvin. Hey, Jim. Booyah. Booyah, Calvin. Hey, man. So uh, Penn Gaming... I- I like Penn Gaming. I mean, it got downgraded today. Let's say it goes back to 28, 29. Just pull the trigger. I think it's a good one. I do like the casino stocks. They're, they're packed. Let's go to Chris in Florida. Chris. Hey, Jim. The Zeitgeist demands police oversight and accountability. Law enforcement reform bill up for voting the House. Federal Intercept State nationwide use of body cams. What's the play on Axon, formerly Taser? The I've liked this next- stock since 25. I don't understand why it's only, I mean, it's up, it's up since the tragedy. It's up nicely. But you know what? It's... This is a, a solution for a uh, blunt force. Uh, for uh, Everyone knows what happened. And I think Axon is a very good thing to be able to use, to be able to change the way that we do, do with the police work in this country. Let's go to Jonathan, Pennsylvania. Jonathan. Hey, Jim. How you doing? Love the show. Oh, thank you. Uh, I'm calling about General Mills, G-I-S. They had a terrific uh, so- quarter, and I know that we're not going to deal with the stay-at-home economy anymore, but we are still in a recession co- trying to get out of it. General Mills works here. Uh, by the way, the, uh, uh, the pet food business is really on fire. Michael in New Jersey. Michael. Hi, Jim. Mike from New Jersey, and I want to thank you for taking my call. Of course. Thank you for investors like myself. I've been invested in a small biotech for a few years now. Uh, a few months ago, you had their CEO on, Dr. Garrow. Uh, and they just released some new data on their cancer antibody. I would like your opinion on a genus. Right now, that was uh, Garrow Armin, who I've known from the 80s. Now, this thing has not really done anything. Uh, it hasn't hurt anybody, but it hasn't helped anybody. I think that there are greener pastures in the biotech world. Let's go to Stephen in New York. Stephen. Hey, Jim, it's Stephen from New York. Thank you so much for having me on the show. Of I'm course. a first-time caller. Of course. Uh, about 90 days ago, you mentioned a stock to me, G3. It was only two and seven eighths at the time, and now it's up to 18 in that short amount of time. So now I'm curious on you know, what the best bet is. Should I keep holding on to I it? I would keep holding on to it. I think it's one of the winners in a very, very tough category of apparel. They had a good quarter. Let's go to Michael in Florida. Michael. Jim, thank you for taking my call. You're quite welcome. Hey, uh, my stock is Zuora, Z-U-O. They reported a good quarter. I mean, what can I say? I mean, they needed to put several good quarters together because they had a couple of really bad quarters. But I do think this one's making a comeback. Robert in Texas. Robert. Hello, Jim. Robert. Booyah. Booyah. Uh, I'm interested in, uh, in a, a cost averaging down uh, Seattle Genetics. That's All right, I'm going to be talking about this in my Thursday uh, actionalersplus.com conference call at 1130. Here's the problem. See, it, so, see, Seattle Genetics had a great presentation at Goldman, had a great presentation at ASCO, but there are some sellers who continue to lurk here. And I think it's a buy. It is speculative, but I think it's a buy because we heard them on air. We heard what Clay Siegel said. I really think their canceled formulation is novel. I think Seattle Genetics is a buy. Let's go to Jack in New York. Jack. Professor, booyah. Well, thank I'd you. like your position on Tegna. No, I mean, it's media. And uh, there's almost no media that is worth recommending. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the conclusion of the Lightning Round. The Lightning Round is sponsored by TD Ameritrade. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.